back at it again. Brand new CGMT, on new palais. I have the impeccable Giovanna <laughs> Menard next to me here. Uh, and as I promised you, I promised you a segment reoccurring where we bring legal issues that everybody faces in some fashion, in some way, uh, and we're going to talk about those legal issues specific to how to overcome them and how to succeed. And we're going to get it straight from one of the best lawyers in the country. <laughs> Am thank I, you. Right? Yes, you're <laughs> right. <laughs> and so, so I want to thank you so much. Well, thank for you for here. having me again. No and I'm very happy to see you guys again. No so, uh, um, we're so gonna yeah, talk so about today, so land. To, yes, today's <laughs> topic is land. We're talking about land rights, that entire process from uh, you know doing research and acquire and, and seeing pro the prospects, from then engaging the uh, uh, initial processes and some of the best best things to do as you engage with the actual seller. Uh, we're going to talk about the parties involved from notary to the realtor to the lawyer potentially, right? And then we're gonna uh, push forward and talk about the specific instance when you're talking about the state and, and, and say if you're buying not from an individual private party, but the state itself, we're gonna engage that a little bit. And then finally we're gonna wrap it up with just some general best practices, some general things to keep in mind as, uh, as, as you buy land, right? And, 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 and Giovanna has, had many deals under her belt, and so she's come in waiting like a black belt in a fight to really give you some of the best key secrets uh, that are available. So, so again, Giovanna, thank you so much for, for this. And so, the very first question: I'm a guy uh, in the states, and and you know what? I want some land. I want to own a piece of my country. How do we start that process? Okay, so I'm gonna try to be very concise because uh, you told me we don't have time and you know lawyers, you talk a lot. So I have my little notes here and um, I've done like a, like a four part thing so we can, we can uh, uh, take the process. The first thing, when you want to buy land. So I would uh, um, advise someone that wants to buy land. First thing is no, if you can, is to visit the land. If you can. Now, uh, the second thing would be to uh, talk a little bit, or if you don't have anyone in Haiti that you can ask for information, it would be about the seller, because you really need to know if the land really belongs to that person. So uh, that would be the second, the second uh, uh, thing to do. And uh, the third, of course, is to uh, agree on the price, and to do that, because here they give you all kinds of prices also is to have someone that could tell you uh, from an evaluation here uh, either from the public notary himself or a real estate agent or general people that know about land for the price so you don't get uh, um, crooked or they, they, they give you like a very high price for the area that you're considering uh, that's another point and the most important thing to have is to ask at least for a set, a copy, if the seller doesn't want to give you his, uh, which probably you, you want, the, the, the originals of the titles. And for the titles, uh, that's something that I see a lot with my uh, clients also. Sometimes they come to ask for advice. Because I have to tell you that when you're buying, the most important person is uh, the public notary. Uh, in the States, you have public notaries, but uh, it's not the same work that they do uh, because of the French law and the common law. In, in the States, they just legalize documents. Here, they are, first of all, they study law. So, so they are lawyer also. Uh, second of all, they are the one who takes care of um, real estate in Haiti. So they are the only one who can sell you something. And or legalize a one-on-one -on -one transaction that you did, but now when you want it to be official, you have to go to a public notary. Uh, so how, as I was saying, you need to at least have a look at the titles. And when I say titles, I talk about two 
documents, two very important documents. It's the survey, which uh, all Haitian knows, it's called an arpenteur in French, arpenteur in Creole, mm -hmm. and uh, they do the surveys. And usually, most of the time, the person comes with the survey and they think it's the title, mm -hmm. which is not. The, the, the survey is how you, it's when you go to the, the land, you choose your land and the sur surveyor does the survey and you have the shape of the land like that you're like the, the, drawings, the, the, map, the, yes, the map, the shape, the documents. There's a written document also, which state um, the amount of, uh, of the land that you bought. Uh, here it's, uh, we use uh, square meters. In the States, it's uh, square foot, I think. Square feet, sorry. Mm -hmm. So you need that. It's very important, but it's not the most important. The most important now is the title that the public notary will give to you. So they go along together. Okay? So you have to be aware of when they tell you, uh, okay, I'll, I'll send you a copy. And then when you look at it, or someone that knows, and it's not a title, it's just a survey. Mm -hmm. Or some mistake that they make also. You know, here we have a lot of uh, land conflict. Sometimes they go to um, court and they get a decision. And sometimes they bring you the decision and they think it's a title because they went to court and they won. So they, they think that's a title. That's not a title. So you have to go through a public notary. You know, the decision, you have to go to the notary. It's the, so, it's and, the and, public and, notary and, that gives you, gives you actual title. title okay. Because they have the archives of the person that bought the seller and the person that the seller bought from and up up until sometimes even a hundred years mm -hmm. let's say or 30 years mm -hmm. so the public notary has to verify this is how he knows if the land is uh, legit or mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. so you have that the history which is included in your sale document so you go you know up the years and the notary knows sometimes you can even go to the same public notary, if he's dead, the one that the, the next one has the archives. So this is how they, they verify. So let me recap. So basically, what you're saying is, um, you know, make sure um, you know what you're buying. You know what you're buying. You know, you know what you're buying. Ask the price. Around. Ask around if you can come and visit yeah. uh, the price. Mm -hmm. So you don't you don't pay you don't overpay. Mm -hmm. All right, and then. Uh, the, the titles, at least a copy, so you know the, the, the sale documents are legitimate, mm -hmm. which is two part. You have the survey and the, the sale contract. You, well, probably you won't know, instead of asking uh, a family member, because you know that's your first mm -hmm. reflect, it call your uh, or someone that you know. So, so who are the other list, list of people involved? Tell, tell us, uh, that's the second yeah, part, yeah. Uh, which includes, you have the, the seller, of mm -hmm. course, the buyer, which is you, then the public notary, mm -hmm. which I mentioned mm -hmm. a little bit earlier, but the, this, he's the one who's going to pass the, the, the sale. Mm -hmm. He's the one that you go to when you um, have a, a set agreement mm -hmm. with the seller. So both of the, those people, they go to the public notary. Then he will verify your, uh, the seller's mm -hmm. documents to see if everything is on point, mm -hmm. if it's legitimate. Yeah. And then uh, he will revise also the survey. Yeah. So you have a surveyor as well, that's another person. Is that, that's a private, is, that, is, that a private, is that private or is that a state? State person. also, state. state. He has to be appointed, but it's a Sorry. well, it's a private person. But the authorization that he gets, he gets it from the state okay. also. And then uh, uh, that's just what they talk about too, by the way, the, the process of how a notary becomes a notary. Yes, I, I, we, we were talking about that uh, yeah. before. Yeah. Uh, for it's the same also for the surveyor. Yeah, I was saying that uh, in Haiti, public notaries are uh, it's not like uh, getting your your bachelor or your your diploma as a lawyer which you need to but after that you need to be appointed by the states and it's the president of the the, the, the country that gives you that authorization mm -hmm. to be a public notary it is the same also in france mm -hmm. and in uh, all the french law mm -hmm. uh, um, countries where you use the, the french law it's the same 
So you need the president to give you that authorization. And it's given by ARIA. He is appointed also mm -hmm. uh, because you cannot be uh, uh, a private one yeah. without the authorization. You have to, and there's a limited number also. It's the same process. Yeah. Uh, the real, that's for the parties involved, that's the seller, the buyer, the public notary, the surveyor. And uh, I think that's it for the main parties. And uh, there's a last part that's involved, which is the important, it's the tax department. Because when the public notary um, uh, does the sales, after that it has to be registered. So when it's registered, you need to pay taxes, of course, and it's transcript in the tax department, uh, which is the DGI, Direction Générale des Impôts. So this is where you uh, you have the second uh, registration, as I said, because you're registered at the public notary, but it has to pay and you're registered by the state, which is a confirmation of your ownership. So this is where also somewhere you can check if the seller is legitimate also, because if he had bought, bought from someone or he has inherited the, the land from a parent, it has to be registered. So this is public knowledge. So you can go, the department is called Conservation Foncière. So you can go and of course they're gonna make you pay like some fees for uh, the, the research of course, uh, which we do because it's a hassle. You need to know your way inside and, and people inside. And then they make the research for you and they can verify also if that person who says he is the seller, the owner yeah. is a legitimate yes, one. Yeah. And then, uh, what do I need to tell you? It's about the uh, buying state property also. Mm -hmm. So um, sometimes when you don't buy from an individual, mm -hmm. you uh, patients, they, they, they love to buy from um, state mm -hmm. property also. So you can rent and you can buy, but when you can buy, when you want to buy, you pass through the uh, state department. You have to go through DGI. So this is where you go and then if it's available and if they want to, to sell also, this is where the process goes. Okay. And then as the surveyor, but there are state surveyors. These are the ones they send after an authorization given by both the, the state, the DGI, which is the tax, depart, the tax department, sorry, and the Ministry of Finance. He's the one. The Ministry of Finances appoints a surveyor, which is a state surveyor, and then they go, they me measure the land, they, they give you the, 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 the survey, and this is the title that you have when you're buying from the state. Okay? So that's about it. Yeah. And then, as I told you, I have like general advices, yeah. uh, general information. Let's say um, the survey when you're buying a land which has not has a construction on it or any houses, the, the survey has to be fresh from five years. Each five year, the buyer or the owner, I say not the buyer, the, the owner, the seller, needs to do a fresh survey. How much Even the survey when, cost? You, uh, it depends on the quantity the and land. the area. Okay. Yes. What's the, what's the highest you've heard? So what's the lowest you've heard? Uh, usually for like one uh, one hectare, mm -hmm. one vitneuf, an hectare of vitneuf, mm -hmm. it's an acre mm -hmm. and something, mm -hmm. <coughs> which is a cowo, mm -hmm. how we like to call it. Um, around here, it's like a thousand, uh, a thousand dollars, okay. US dollars for okay. one cow. So okay. it's less when you have like a, a lesser yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. amount That's of right. land, yes. Okay. So it's not that bad. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was saying that, yes, for a land that has nothing on it, it's every five years. So even when you go to the public notary, this is the first thing that he will ask the, the seller, he, how long has, you, you know, has, has it been since you had your last mm -hmm. survey done? So usually when it's only land, we don't do it every five years. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna get penalized, yeah. but, but you gotta get it done. Yes, yeah, it has to be done. you have to get it done, yeah. and especially when you're you're selling it, you are the one responsible also for uh, doing that. Yeah. And this is one of the things also the buyer he he has to pay, of course, the land, 
it be uh, you will pay a, um, the notary and then you will pay the registration the the seller will pay also some taxes depending on if it's inherited or um, pre-value also pre-value is like the, the the value of the land at the moment that you are mm -hmm. selling so it has to be verified by the tax department they are the one who's going to tell you how much you need to pay for that mm -hmm. and the survey also that they pay and part of the public uh, fees also you so the good, public no, no, notary fees you get some good advice you said that generally a good idea to buy land that has property on it already yes right. that's the second uh, general advice that i was going to mm -hmm. give buy something that's already there you're more comfortable about the ownership because it's been there it's been built like let's say 10 years, 20 years, so you are, oh, oh, you, know, you are sure that the owner is the real owner. Because when the land is only, it's only a land, it's very easy for thieves to, to try and sell it. Our diaspora, unfortunately, they love to do that. When they, they, they don't come to visit or they ask a, a family member or, or someone that they do, take they get taken advantage of. Yeah. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. They get uh, taken advantage of. And the the person who's buying, they sell, they send money also. And when you're dealing with the seller, you send him the money and you don't go to a proper um, public notary also. You can do that. It's a one-on-one -on -one transaction. Maybe the person needs the money. They, maybe they can ask for an advance, okay, for a down payment, as we say. And uh, yes, you can do that before going to the the public notary. But you need, you really need to verify those titles, and uh, a lawyer can do that for you. So someone that 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 knows the 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 area, real estate, can do that also. But you need a receipt or a letter of intent. And this, in this receipt and letter of intent, the terms and conditions mm -hmm. have to be written clearly so you, won't, you don't get screwed at the end of the day. The whole yeah, The more the you whole can document money, your process, the better. The better. Yeah. So in the beginning, it's better to consider paying a professional to do that for you. And, again, and, the, more, and the more you show that you're doing it this way, it may intimidate someone who's, who's being exactly. tricky. You exactly, exactly. So they back off, yes, definitely. Yes, yes. You don't hear from them. Mm -hmm. When like, you know, they come and they bring me a document and I tell them that this is not a, a, a title. Yeah. What's the title? Oh, you know, math, because this is how you call the, the lawyer. Ah, okay, okay, I'll be back. I'll be back and I will, uh, I will bring you. I didn't know that this is what you needed. Yeah, you I have them, them and you never see them again. <laughs> And my client, when they call it, oh, thank you very much because, yeah. you know, I've called them to ask them, did you send the documents to the lawyer? I said, ah, no, we are looking or, ah, no, we don't want to sell anymore mm -hmm. or it takes too, too much time. We need the money now and you're not willing. We, we don't have time for mm -hmm. that process. So we found someone else to, 